brought here for the same purpose. We're being hunted. What? This planet is a game preserve. And we're the game. Ever since Arnold Schwarzenegger and his ragtag band of brothers first faced the Predator, the dreadlocked alien from beyond has lived large in the fanboy mind. Even increasingly lame sequels couldn't diminish our love for the big badass from space. And now Sin City's Robert Rodriguez is looking to bring greatness back to the franchise with this weekend's Predators. But have these ugly mothers truly returned to glory? <laughs> Set on the Predator's homeworld, which happens to look a lot like Hawaii, the film tracks with the original in several ways. A group of human characters, also known as Predator fodder, are the prey once again, snatched up from Earth and left on Predator Planet 90210 with little hope of escape. This time, we're also introduced to the alien's hierarchy, where super predators actually hunt and torture the regular predators we've always known and loved. Also, there are Predator dogs, which is much cooler than it sounds. Adrian Brody is fine as the protagonist Royce, a mercenary whose talent for hunting and killing men allows him to understand the Predators a bit more than he'd probably care to admit. And Topher Grace lends a dark comic relief to the scenes he's in, but it's Walter Goggins who nearly steals the show as a sociopathic death row inmate given a new lease on life. Well, a short-term lease anyway. Director Nimrod Antal and writer-producer Rodriguez have crafted a surprisingly entertaining, if familiar, Predators movie that mirrors many of the beats of the original even as it whets your appetite for more films featuring everyone's favorite alien manhunter. IGN gave it three and a half stars out of five, with that half star being just for not having verses in its title. Ah, ah. Run, run, run. Ah.